Hi, I'm Nils from Line Equipment, and uh, today I'm here to give you an overview of Ortlieb's history. Um, back in the early 80s, a German guy called Hartmut Ortlieb was cycle touring around the southwest of the UK, and uh, as you would expect, southwest of the UK um, got absolutely soaked. Um, and at the time, we were still using those kind of traditional sewn panniers, so basically bits of material just kind of thrown together on a sewing machine, which meant that they're not waterproof, and all this all his belongings got completely soaked basically. So whilst he was stood by the side of the road, he was watching these trucks go past with those top holding side curtains and he thought, wouldn't it be better if we made panniers out of that material because it would keep the water out. So he went back home to um, Nuremberg where he was based in Germany and uh, borrowed his mum's sewing machine, got some of these kind of like top holding side curtains in and started making his own panniers on the, uh, on the sewing machines. Um, that kind of went pretty well, some of his friends decided to buy some of them, some shops even got interested in them, but fundamentally when you were getting waterproof materials, sewing them together, you were creating a line of weakness and also an area where water could ingress into the pannier. So Hartmut being Hartmut, um, constantly thought about how to kind of further improve that product and one of the things he then developed was um, high frequency welding. So basically you get two materials you put them together and by running an electric charge through them you weld the two materials together which actually results in a stronger bond um, than the material by itself and that's something that's become a fundamental kind of key part of the Ortlieb range everything that they do with the exception of some small accessories is all welded and it makes it completely waterproof much much more durable than some of the competitive products out there now at this stage it's probably also worth talking about Ortlieb's what I like to call like the kind of three main pillars um, and they are five-year warranty on all products that they do, a, um, obviously a fully waterproof product, and everything is made in Germany. Now, the five-year warranty is actually, um, I mean, there's a lot of brands kind of offering this now, but we've got a little bit extra to offer in the sense that we offer a UK repair service. So if somebody gets a, an Ortlieb product and, you know, ride out within the first couple of days, ends up accidentally slashing their pannier or, you know, causing some accidental damage, We've got a UK repair service where we can carry out a, a fully welded repair which ensures that um, the product is fully waterproof again and fully functional. Other than that, what we also have is uh, spare, parts, spare part availability, uh, again in the UK. So what we tend to sort of say is anything which you can take off the product yourself, anything that's not kind of sewn on or welded on, we can supply as a spare part. And those spare parts are available for a minimum of 10 years after that product becomes discontinued. So if we were to discontinue the Velocity PS that we've got here today, in 10 years time you'll still be able to find replacement Velcro straps and we guarantee that as well. So a big part of that is Ortlieb not wanting to be part of this kind of disposable society that we live in. They want to kind of blow new life into, um, into a product which, you know, with a little bit of damage and a small repair could be fully functional again afterwards. The other big pillar um, of um, for Ortlieb is that everything is made in Germany. So what they're trying to do is effectively minimize the kind of food mile equivalent to manufacturing product like this. So they don't want to kind of create unnecessary CO2 or create an unnecessarily high environmental footprint if they can avoid it. Finally, obviously all Ortlieb products are waterproof. Waterproof is a big part of the brand. Waterproof, the actual word, is in the brand logo. You'll see it everywhere. And just to give you a bit of an idea of kind of what they mean by that, um, all the products they made are made using a welded construction, so that helps with the kind of uh, abrasion resistance and durability, but also the raw materials are tested in-house, so they will put a, um, a new roll of material through an abrasion and a fold test, and also a hydrostatic head test. So the abrasion test effectively, it just, they want to make sure that it can, that it can withstand kind of long-term abuse, uh, the fold test is because when you're using roll clothes, you're forever, forever folding the material. And they want to make sure that that stays waterproof even after thousands of folds. So to give you an idea, a new material needs to withstand 100,000 folds for it to be able to go into the production line. And then in terms of the kind of hydrostatic head, um, new materials are tested on a, a test rig, and they need to have a hydrostatic head of 100,000 mil. That effectively means that you've got a water column of 100,000 mil high, on a, uh, a given surface of material, there can be a leakage through that, but to put that into context, that's about as waterproof as three Gore-Tex jackets combined, so kind of way overkill. 
again, all these things kind of come together and it kind of puts all these green credentials into the limelight. So the fact that they offer a UK repair service and they've got that warranty, they want to make sure that the products are actually going to last a long time. They don't want to be part of this kind of disposable industry that we live in. Um, the fact that everything is welded and waterproof, again, it adds to the durability. And the product testing that kind of comes with that um, helps to ensure that those claims are met as well. And then finally, the fact that everything is produced in Germany. We're not sort of sending raw materials from the Far East to Germany, then back for maybe some small processes. Everything is kind of, or the vast majority of the products they made are, are manufactured in Germany and the raw materials are so, sourced locally as well. With sourcing them locally, you can ensure that the materials are top-notch quality and if there are any issues, it's very easy to go and speak to those suppliers.